What's up boys and girls? Today we're going to try and mount the body to the Manx. And it is a scorcher here. I think it's 95 already and it's only about 10 o'clock in the morning. So let's get to work and sweat our butts off. Alright, so mounting the body. First thing you need to know about a fiberglass kit car of any sort, I don't care who built it, it's not going to be perfect in every way. And from my understanding, these were pulled off of Manx two body so they they made a mold off of i'm guessing a, a an older car because this thing was made around the like later 2000s you know like 2010 somewhere around the I, that time frame my understanding is they came up with the idea of redoing the classic minx instead of the uh the um kick out so anyways this was pulled from my understanding the molds were pulled off a body which is probably 40 50 years older something like that already so it's not going to be perfect and um, the little back flange here has a little bow to it and the front flange here had they had a block right here from my understanding to pull them out of the mold and they took that off but there's still reinforcement fiberglass down there for that so you're going to have to do some grinding unfortunately a thing it probably would allevi alleviate this this if I had the chassis just slightly longer if I would have went like 14 and maybe an eighth, I mean 14 and a quarter, I went 14 and a half, then maybe that would line up a little better. This front part that goes over the Napoleon's hat, it's got a little kick to it. You know, it's fiberglass, what do you expect, you know? So anyways, it is what it is. My chassis is the length it is. The problem you might run into is if you made it a little longer, if you had a link pin, you could run into problems with the shock towers, that's why there's clearance there. But anyways, I've gone through and I've put some marks here where I got to grind. I already ground a little bit and we're getting closer. All right. There's probably a little, about a half inch or so. And then of course the gas is going to go in there and take up some of that. But on the sides, this is sitting well. I've seen people have problems on the sides here with certain pans, but these are working really well so far. And of course you're going to have to push the body out just a little bit you see the flange is a little in they just got to be tweaked that's just all there is to it you're not going to get something perfect you know unless it's like one off custom built for the thing because your chassis is all going to be different too so anyways we're going to pull this thing back off and we're going to put it out here and we're going to grind on a little bit which breaks my heart a little but it has to be done i got to drill holes and put headlights and you know all that fun stuff to be able to make this thing a complete car so that's what we got to do so let's get going, get busy here, and don't forget to like and subscribe guys if you haven't done that so already. That helps out the channel a lot, and share it with your friends if they're thinking about doing a build, buggy build. And these are some videos to show all the things that are involved. After several times taking it on, taking it off, we got it to sit down there. That's pretty darn good. See down through here. 
minimal of a gap. The sides of the floor pans will pull up when we start putting bolts in. But the gasket should seal all that up. Oh, there's really good. And I didn't butcher up the body too bad. That's what I was really concerned of is cutting too much. And I had to cut from here all the way over to about the same area on the other side. But that's what you got to do. Anyways, now I need to go get some uh, weather strip adhesive so I can put on the pan gasket. And then I can um, come back and start putting bolts and stuff in. Hopefully the two, the four bolts they drilled through the body to clamp it down during shipment actually fit. Wish they would have did that a little different, but it is what it is. You know, can't get everything you want, right? So anyways, boys and girls, let me get back to taking everything down so I can go to the store. All right, see you in a minute. All right, so we're going to try and get our pan gasket on. Now, Volkswagen held these on with little carpet tack nails. And I don't have those, and these are thick metal pans. I don't want to try that. So what I'm going to use is weather strip adhesive. This is in black. Weather strip adhesive. Weather strip adhesive is pretty good stuff. Should stick well. We got our pan gasket here. Of course, it's an empty part, but what do you... What can you get? Um, you know, um, what is it? West Coast Metric has a lot of Volkswagen stuff still. They might have something like this. I've seen some people use a foam gasket. That's like the ridiculous idea I've ever seen. Probably, you know, because water gets in foam, you know, it's going to stick there. At least this is the rubber and should try and seal most of it out. Anyways, I'm going to lay some strips down the side and over the Napoleon's hat. I'll do the Napoleon's hat first because it's just a pretty simple strip and I probably won't film that because you know it's just glue guys you guys know what that is so let me get to work all right boys and girls we got the molding the nah, nah, moldings we got the pan gasket on there just use 3m weather strip adhesive that's what I used in black in color so it should match the chassis and the rubber you just put some on both edges let it tack up and then stick it together kind of like um, contact cement it's basically what it is and then um, used painters tape to hold it down because that's what I had available tried to make it go around that back seam there as best I could you know without using nails and tacks and all that some people I just see put one straight across this, you know, so it is what it is. This is an open air car after all, folks. So I already cut all the holes. Important to do that. Just don't put an X. If you just like tap a little X, I've seen people put a hole in there. What happens is the, the bolt will catch the rubber when it's threading in there and it will get stuck in between the nut and the um, threads of the bolt. And then it will act like a lock nut and make it really hard to get down. So just cut the hole all the way out. Even though the hole will be bigger than you need, just cut it all the way out. So I'm going to pull all the tape off of this thing. And then we're going to um, set the body on. I'll probably have to put a jack under the floor pans on each side to get it to lift up to it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to make these holes first or what I'm going to do there. I'm going to get the body on first and then go from that point. Alright boys and girls, I didn't film that. I didn't want you to see a grown man crying for putting holes in his brand new Manx <laughs> body. But, it had to be done. So, for right now I just got like fender washers under these. I don't have um, enough body washers. I like to do something like body washers to spread the load out. Um, but we'll, we'll see about that. Maybe I'll buy some of those nice fancy ones. They make them out of stainless. Somebody used to. But, I drilled from underneath pulling up I got the front end centered got the rear end kind of lined up and then I did the front two right here and that kind of locked the body in and then went from there I've seen people put like a jack in here and jack the sides out which probably should be done um, because it's really close here along the edge it lines right up with the edge but it's really close you can see a couple of the bolts get really tight there Especially that one there, I had to grind the washer a little off on that one. But, it's on there. 
it stiffens the chassis up a little bit. Definitely needs a roll cage. So under the front here, eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a angle iron or something underneath here to support the weight of the gas tank. Because it does come with little brackets that fit here that go down to the beam. But that's just not, in my opinion, enough support. So I'm going to build a little box that will mount to the chassis bolt there and probably bolt to the beam. That's a later date thing. Right now we're trying to get the body together. So, let's see how the bottom looks. I didn't even look at it. It's got the stock. Oh, i got to tighten that one up. Stock body washers under it. Some people put a support rail in here. They build a like a one and a half inch by one inch or something like that tube. I just don't have the time right this moment to do that. I could come back and do that later. But the body lines up pretty good. Like I say, the gasket's like flush with it. So I'm pretty happy with that. Anyways. Now, I'm probably going to look at side pods and see how they go on. So I think I'll end this video here though because everything else is just going to be guessing. So don't forget to like and subscribe and to check out the videos that we have on the channel. And get out there and get your projects done. Let's get these things on the road.